Are you getting too many ads on your Android phone and you want to block them or restrict them? In this video, we'll show you how to do that. First method I'm going to show you is using a Google Chrome browser. This is a Pixel 7a phone using Android 14 for this demo. Next, we'll show you how to use third-party apps to restrict ads on your phone. And then lastly, how to change the DNS settings as another, maybe a little bit more complicated way, but still totally doable. So first thing, let's hop into a Chrome browser on an Android phone, and I'll show you some settings that will help you out there. You open up Google Chrome on your mobile device, click on the three dots in the top right, and then you're gonna go to settings. So within settings, we're gonna scroll down and click on site settings. So this is if you're browsing mobile sites, there's pop-ups, ads, things like that. So we'll have a couple options we can look at within this one. If you scroll down to content, there's the first one I wanna show you is called intrusive ads. So intrusive ads are what they, you know, it's pretty straightforward, they're intrusive. You don't want them, they're popping up all over the place. You're trying to read something, you're getting an ad in your face. Um, they're intrusive. So you click on intrusive ads and there's a, just one toggle switch option. The one that I have toggled on, which is by default, it says ads are blocked on sites known to show intrusive or misleading ads. So you don't want ads that are totally misleading. They're like telling you you're going to get rich tomorrow and it's like they're really going to steal your information and your identity. Who knows? Um, so it's toggled that way. If you click on like that, it's a little confusing because it's blue and it looks like the blocker would be on. But actually, if it's blue like that, it says any site you visit can show any ad to you. So this one is like opening up the can of worms. You can have whatever site you um, showing any ad to you. So I keep that off like that for intrusive ads. The next one I want to show you is still within the site settings in your Chrome browser pop-ups and redirects. So that's the one that we looked at intrusive ads. This one's just right above it. It says pop-ups and redirects. The one that's defaulted, toggled off, it says block sites from showing pop-ups and redirects. That's recommended. So that's what's on right now. If you toggle this on like that, it says pop-ups and redirects are then allowed. So you could be bouncing around, getting pop-up, etc. You probably don't want that. So you're going to want to keep that toggled off. Next option, beyond, beyond the site settings in your Chrome browser, are using ad blocker third-party apps. So two that we recommend for Chrome browser are Adblock and Adblock Plus. So they both start with the word Adblock, but they're not related to each other. It's not like an upgraded version of the other. The only issue with Adblock and Adblock Plus for mobile is that they only work on desktop as a Chrome extension. So on a Chrome browsers, you can't use extensions on mobile. You have to just use a mobile app from the Google Play Store to do that. Although you can't use Chrome extensions on a mobile Chrome browser, we found a workaround to that, which is using the Kiwi browser. So you can go to the Google Play Store, you can install the Kiwi browser on your device, and then you can add Chrome extensions to the Kiwi browser. So it's going to be small, but it's on your mobile device. You go to the Chrome Web Store within the Kiwi browser, and then you can look for an extension. I'm going to have to zoom in here. Search for extensions. You're going to go to Add Block. There we go. So there's an extension um, for Ad Block, and you can install that and add it onto the Kiwi browser. So you're going to be surfing the web on your mobile device with a Kiwi browser, You've added the ad block extension on there, so that's one way you can do it. Another option is to use more privacy-focused mobile web browsers. We recommend Brave, Opera, or Adblock browsers. So you can go to the uh, Play Store on your phone, you can download that browser, and they're more privacy-focused, so they'll have more built-in ad blocking features available if you're using those browsers. A third option you can use if you've tried the built-in Chrome options on your mobile device, third-party apps, or the Kiwi browser, or some of the others were mentioned, is to change the DNS settings on your mobile device. So to do that, you go into your settings on your phone, you're gonna click on network and internet, and then scroll down to where it says private DNS. 
So I've set this up already, but if you haven't, it's if it's on automatic, um, you just toggle down to private DNS provider hostname and then type in dns.adguard.com, for example, and you can use the a private DNS that will block many of the ads. So uh, that's another third option for you. If you find the ads are annoying, I hope these tips were helpful to get less ads in your face and you can focus on whatever you want to do on your mobile device. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.